The product that I'm going to review today is the Garnier Pure Active BB Cream. I reviewed the Garnier BB Plus Blur. Check out my previous video for that one. And um, they seem to, since this one came out, they just seem to have brought out like five or six different BB creams in various versions. So the one I got to try was the Pure Active. Now this BB cream has salicylic acid in so it would be probably, hopefully good if you suffer from breakouts. Sorry my baby is just here next to me and he's causing chaos. There he is. But yeah, I'm trying to do a video about BB cream. Do you want to review it as well? We could do it together maybe. What do you think? Do you like it? He has beautiful skin so he doesn't need any BB cream obviously. But yeah, I've got to do this now. I don't think this is going to be done anytime soon. <sighs> Hi, so this BB cream claims to hydrate the skin, even the tone. It's an anti head formula, don't know how that works. Um, it mattifies the skin and it has an SPF of 15, so it claims quite a lot. It doesn't claim to be long wearing um, or anything like that. And I got the shade Light. Now, I always get the shade Light in these Garnier products and the one thing I did notice with the BB Plus Blur was that the shade came out a lot darker even though it's light it's a lot darker on the skin it did blend in and it matched my skin tone so I just think off the bat it looks darker but it's not on the skin anyway I'm going to just do a review on this one baby's back again I'm going to just do a review yes we're going to do a review on the BB Pure Active today and I'll <laughs> Come on, buddy. I'll be back later with a review on how I found the product. nice on the skin as I was applying it it felt a tiny bit kind of oily but it applied well and I'm happy with the coverage it's much more of kind of a like radiant coverage in comparison with the BB blur and then the original Garnier BB cream um, the original Garnier BB cream is more of a kind of foundation finish and it's got more of a coverage whereas this is just more like I don't know it's more of what I would imagine a BB cream would be actually um, so yeah it feels good on the skin it does like I say it does feel a tiny bit oily and it's a is a bit sticky to touch but in terms of how it looks I'm liking it I've not put on any more makeup at this point but I will be doing shortly, so I'll come back and do a um, update then. But so far, it's good. The Garnier BB Pure Active uh, Cream on for about four and a half hours now, and I just thought I'd come back and do my conclusion review. I really, really do like this product. Now, I know that this. A BB cream has salicylic acid in and it is a product that really 
unless you test it over a couple of weeks and also unless I suppose if you're suffering from breakouts at the time it's difficult to really judge it for what it claims to be now I don't really have any um, spots at the moment and obviously I've not tested this for a few days I've tested it for four and a half hours um, I just really today wanted to show you how it looks on the skin and how it feels on the skin and because that's really all I can do at the moment I would say that it, you can really tell that it is different to the original formula and it's different to the BB Plus Blur as well. My main point really of doing these uh, Garnier BB videos was to try and ascertain if the products are different or if they're just kind of trying to have a million different variations of the same thing. I would definitely say that the products are all different um, but specifically this one um, I'd say it's a bit more of an oily kind of consistency it wears well on the skin like I've been busy today um, mainly just playing with my son um, and doing a few chores here and there um, and it's worn well. I did apply a powder just because I knew that I was going to get oily if I didn't. Um, I, I like the look of it. I like how it feels on the skin. Not as much as I like the original. So unless I was suffering from any breakouts, I would definitely just go for this product. Because it definitely has more of a matte finish than this one. Um, I'd love to be able to do a week kind of test for you and I, this is going to sound weird I'd love to test if it would actually clear up skin I can't do that so I can only tell you how it feels on the skin and how it looks on the skin and I was happy with the product and I definitely definitely would um, use it if I was suffering from breakouts how effective would it be I don't know but um, I think it'd be worth giving a go and I'll be looking out for other videos to um, see what the people think of it. So anyway, that's um, the review done and I hope it was somewhat informative and um, I'll see you again soon.